The late rapper Juice World's ex-girlfriend Ali Lottie says that she's going to release a sex tape she made with Juice World under duress because hackers are apparently threatening to release it anyway. Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Talking to myself, the channel. I'm your host Nick, and we back with another video. And today, guys, I'm a big fan of Jamar. He, he, I seen a little bit of you. I said, let me stop it and let me just react to it. So. Let's jump into it. XX Tentacion and Juice World have been done so painfully wrong by former friends, managers, and really the list goes on. Specifically today though, I will be focusing on Juice World, and one of the main people to do him wrong has been his fiance who goes by Ali Lottie, who met Juice only a year before his death in 2018. From the start it was apparent that this chick was pretty much just a rap groupie bouncing around. I really feel like you really gotta know who the company you keep, especially when you become a big time star like Juice World, who was so young. I just feel like it would've been dope just to uh, have these younger artists have like a mentor, somebody to show him the ropes and like really uh, give him the advice that he so needed um, to navigate this industry. Industry, obviously, that's not something that's in place. Obviously, everybody's out there trying to get theirs. Certain OGs don't really uh, like the younger, younger. Um, younger artists and sometimes they got like egos in it and all that but I think it'll help a lot of these young artists that you see a lot of them either going to jail for years or like a lot of them dying um I think having um mentors are just like people in the industry really tell them hey man I'm telling you man this is really how you should move I'm not saying that it'll it like it'll be work like like it will work but I feel like it'll help a lot more than not having that least conversation you know what I'm saying because I think having conversations can really save a lot of these artists from making really big time mistakes. Smoke Perp to Offset to life. Trippy Red and other rappers before she ended up with Juice. To me, when a woman is going after multiple people within industry, that is a huge red flag. Above that, this woman apparently had some serious criminal charges under her belt before they even met. And the other thing is, when Juice first started blowing up, she didn't even like this man's music and even mocked his breakout hit, Lucid Dreams. And this is why I can't listen to the f***ing radio. I, didn't I mean, I honestly feel like, I don't know, man. It's hard, man. I really I really feel bad. When you really look at a lot of these artists that have passed away and, they, and like, the background, how how life was going for them around their deaths, it was just, like, it looked like it was imploding in front of them, and they couldn't slow it down. Or the mental status and mental health of these uh, men, uh, sometimes you can tell that they just was going through a lot. And they just needed a way out, and that's what their escape sometimes is. And this having, they'll just take anybody around them, just you know, so they don't have to feel alone or somebody that just, you know, I don't know, man. It's just, it's sad. Stop, rappers, you have a small dick. Regardless, these two were apparently in love, and one of their shared interests in their relationship seemed to be doing drugs, especially Percocets, which <clears throat> I'm just, I feel uh, for these people, really. Like, I feel for them, because I feel like um, these be su super talented kids, man. Super talented, like, Jews were super talented, XX, super talented. The list goes on. Mike Miller, super talented, and they all were doing drugs. I'm not saying. Well, X died from somebody murdering him. And you just wish that you felt like these artists just would have made the, the decision to be like, I need to be here for myself, not even for the for the fans. You know what I'm saying? Just for myself, and just really, you wish that they just took a hard look around their camp and see who's really trying to help me in this time where I'm not myself because I feel like when you're doing drugs you're doing all kind of lean and all that there's no way you can sit there and say that you're happy with yourself and if you go back and listen to some of that music you're like oh he was not happy with himself and regardless of how much money and fame and all that you realize that that don't really mean that you just really don't like what you see when you wake up in the morning I know this got nothing to do with the video and just showing like you know you really gotta know who you got around you you know what I'm saying? Just because, you know, you have girls that you think they're attractive and you want to be around them because they're attractive and you associate them being attractive with great traits. It's not also, that's not always the case, you know what I mean? So, 
We all know what would eventually take Juice World's life on December 8th of 2019 when he was flying from California to Chicago in his private plane and got word that the feds would be waiting on him at the airport. Of course, knowing that he had these perks, several bottles of prescription codeine, reportedly over 70 pounds of weed, and guns on board, he felt like he was completely screwed. This is when he decided to drink an estimated pint of lean as well as pop 20 pills which would lead to his eventual OD. Okay, nine, but it's inside the Atlantic airport. They've got a guy seizuring in here. Now, obviously, Juice World did not have the right people around him. Exactly. And that's been even more... You know what I'm saying? That, like, you, why would anybody let him do that? He's the talent. He's the one that's uh, taking this around. We got to protect this guy. Why would we go on the plane with all that on us in the first place and think that's a good idea? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, like, having the right people around you, that doesn't happen, right? after his death and though it has now been over four years since that day his legacy has lived on through his cult-like fan base and for a couple of those years this woman was definitely celebrated by that fan base as the muse who inspired some of his best songs and she was kind of seen as their queen who was left widowed and it wasn't until around two years ago now when the narrative started to turn on her first when she began to insinuate that his death was not due to an overdose and that there was some foul play involved with his autopsy that she was legally obligated from discussing. That's what I'm saying. You really got to check the characteristics of the people you deal with. You know what I'm saying? A pretty face doesn't mean that they're a great person. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, a, a kind gesture doesn't mean all the time that this person has you back. You know? So you really got to... Oh, wow. Uh, you guys think he died from a drug overdose? You're wrong! You're wrong! Now fans damn really hate on this, as many conspiracy theorists already thought that this might be the case, though I would say that in the end most people did not believe this narrative from a mumbling addict, and I would say the big blunder that she made was starting an OF page, which was originally promoted as a place where fans could see exclusive unreleased Juice World content. And obviously putting this behind a paywall where only she would benefit did not sit right with fans who grew angry at the situation, so eventually she would turn this into a typical thoughty page of herself combine this with an incident where she apparently gave what i'm saying man you really see the true colors when people are not there anymore you know you see the true colors of the person when the benefit of having said person around and they can't no longer benefit for having that person around uh, you see what type of person they had around them the whole time and the whole time you feel bad for juice world because you're like man this girl really that relationship wouldn't last if he stayed alive, you know what I'm saying? You can tell that she was really going to be on some stuff. New boyfriend Juice World's Rolex, and he was also pictured wearing one of his old jackets, and that was enough for most people to turn on her. It also did not help when her and this new boyfriend would get locked up together, and it was clear this was someone who was not to be trusted. Now, even with all of that being said, all of those things that she had done up until that point were kind of like characteristics of who she showed herself to be while Juice World was still alive. So can you really blame someone for continuing with their tomfoolery? I do not know. But now it's gotten to a point where this girl, Ali Lottie, has really hit an all-time low when it comes to disrespecting the life of her deceased boyfriend. And of So if you don't know, uh, this is the part of it I do know. She says she's dropping a sex tape with Juice World in it because he claimed that hackers are going to drop it anyway, and so she doesn't drop it. And so she's dropping a sex tape, I think on her OF, um, of her and Juice World having intimate intercourse with each other and stuff like that, which I think is just disgusting. And I just think that it's, it's just a sad thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't really, I wasn't really a big Juice World listener. I, I knew he had super dope talent, but I just think this right here is just, outright like disrespectful outright disgusting she did it through her degenerate of page so she apparently sent this message out to her followers over there on of smashing my famous ex hackers are trying to threaten me to leak my old tape with my ex fiance juice world i don't give a fuck anymore i'll leak it myself it's been a long time since i've been banged rough with some bbc like this I'm so mad that I'm adding every nude I ever sent him. I know you will at least enjoy it. I can't believe I'm actually sending this, but I can't be threatened anymore. And as you guys can see, there is a uh, preview there that I had to censor. And she is asking these fans for $30 to receive. 
can't make some of this stuff up that you find on the internet and the people that's on the internet, you know. It's just what the heck. The thing that you feel that people do just to stay relevant in the public eye when the talent isn't there or the you know, you losing um eyes on you and the things you do to keep the eyes on you is insane. It really is insane. With these exclusive images and videos. Now, obviously, assuming this is real and that her page hasn't been hacked or something like that, this has to be one of the most downright disgusting things I've ever seen someone online do, especially in the name of just making a quick buck. I mean, obviously, with Juice World being gone, he cannot contest to any of this. And if this is all real, I smell like a major lawsuit in her future. Yes. And to make the situation worse, she apparently hit up all these different Twitter pages who at this point are known for promoting different girls OF pages through some money under the table and told them. I'm gonna start it right there, guys. You tell me what you think about this in the comments below. If I'm missing anything, you want me to do more of a deep dive on this, uh, let me know. Guys, I'm super ecstatic for the, the, the growth I'm getting on my channel. So if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. And the people that have and is still on the channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I really do from the bottom of my heart. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.